Good evening, folks. I got more breaking exclusive news from the Gateway Pundit. So, Joe Hoff writes, Breaking exclusive. System glitch also uncovered in Wisconsin. Reversal of swap votes removes lead from Joe Biden. So we've been hearing this a lot, but they keep catching more and more and more. So let me continue with the story. We reported on numerous events identified in the 2020 election already, which are being referred to as glitches by the Democrats. Tonight, we just uncovered another glitch in Wisconsin. When this one is confirmed, it will result in a 19,500 vote gain for Trump, making the Wisconsin race a complete toss-up. There is now a pattern of these events we have uncovered across the country, where the votes are being taken from Republicans at all levels and transferred to competing Democrats in offsetting amounts. These are not random, not random at all, because in every case, these votes are moved from Republicans to Democrats down ticket. We reported first on a system glitch as it was labeled in Michigan. This is the first one that they caught, where Michigan was switched from 6,000 votes back to President Trump. So that lead uh, went down 6,000, and um, they, they made that fix already. But this is just one of six that they've caught today. <clears throat> this is just the, the, the latest one. So then another example was uncovered in Oakland County, Michigan, where again, Republicans won his race as of a glitch. So this was a fix that they, they found out on Sunday, and they fixed it. Um, then in Pennsylvania, a glitch was uncovered where nearly 20,000 votes were removed from President Trump to Biden. So when this is confirmed, it will result in Biden's leading being cut by 40,000 votes in Pennsylvania, bringing this race back to even. Then we found approximately 6,000 votes, which were taken from Trump and moved to Biden in the Georgia due to a glitch. So this is another glitch, and this one was in Georgia. So we have Wisconsin, we have Michigan, we have Pennsylvania, and now we have Georgia. So now tonight we have identified approximately 10,000 votes that were moved from President Trump to Biden in just one Wisconsin county. This information came from an individual who saw this happen in Rock County, Wisconsin. On election night, the results of the county were president, presented during the evening and showed that President Trump won Wisconsin in 2016. At 10.59 p.m., the votes came in and the race was close, with both candidates around 29,000 ballots. Then by 11.12, President Trump had taken nearly a 1,000-vote lead on Biden, with 31,000 votes to Biden's 30,000. At 11.21, these results had not changed much. Then at 11.43, more votes came in, and they, they showed Trump had taken a commanding lead by 46,649 to Biden's 37,133. This was a 9,516-vote lead for Trump. But then suddenly at 11.57, these votes had swapped. Biden was reported with 46,649, and Trump was reduced to Biden's former total of 37,133. These votes had swapped from the President Trump to Biden. Again, a swap from a Republican to a Democrat. And uh, here is just a little tally mark where you guys can see exactly what's going on here. It's just crazy, guys. I can't believe it. Cannot believe it. The net impact was 19,032 votes. We checked these numbers again tonight from a different source, and the final numbers are still showing Biden ahead of President Trump by the same 9,516 votes. Currently, the race in Wisconsin is showing Biden with a lead of 1,630,570 votes to President Trump's 1,610,030 votes. When this adjustment is confirmed, Biden will only hold a 1,508-vote lead. This, of course, is before any of the hundreds of thousands of questionable votes showing up for Biden in Milwaukee uh, early in the morning after election are validated. And that is it. That's the news for you guys. But, I mean, as you could see, this lead isn't very, very long. I mean, very large for uh, Biden here. It's only 20,000. So this will literally bring the...
pretty much the, the race back to even. And this is before any of these lawsuits are hitting. So these are just errors that they're catching. Um, with all the, the lawsuits coming, this is bad news for the Dems. I know they've been celebrating, and I know um, fake Fox News now is uh, you know declaring Joe Biden the winner. Then CNN jumped on board, MSNBC. But not everyone has declared victory for them because they know what's going on. But uh, if you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, um, share this video. It helps me out a lot. And thanks for joining me tonight. I'll have another episode for you real soon. Have a good night.